Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to do the integration with your Google Calendar as well as your, your emails. So in the email part we'll show you how to bring your emails and attach them to your matter. In the calendar part we'll show you how to set up the two-way integration with Google Calendar and the lockers. So before doing the integration, let's see what we have in my Google Calendar as well as my Locus Calendar. So the very first thing, let's look at the Locus Calendar. You see I have three events here. One is at 5.30, 7 a.m. and 11 a.m. And if I switch back to my Google Calendar, I have like dentist appointment tomorrow and I have my son's soccer class at 2.30. In my email, you know, like I'm here like I have three emails and I will drag and drop them to the to the folders like for, for, for to the matter folders and we'll see like how they sync up so now how you sync up so you log into your app log into your to your account click on your your avatar here click on settings click on apps and integrations click on email and calendar then click on enable it will take you to Nylas push your email address here So Nalas is performing the integration. So now we are integrated with, with, with your email box. So now we have to integrate like what we want to enable. Like do we want to enable the email integration or do we want to enable the calendar integration? So once we enable the calendar integration, it will ask us for the mapping. So now we'll map it to the calendar. So I'll map my Locus calendar to my test calendar here. So this will pull all the events from my test calendar I showed you guys and it will like <coughs> put all the events which were like in lockers to the, my test calendar. And the enable integration will do you know, like it will create folders for each folders or labels for each matter I have. So if you go here like on my matter screen like you will see I have three matters so I will enable this and I will show you. And if any email we drag and drop on those folders, that email will be attached on that on those matters. So now if we go to my calendar here, you see it pulled automatically pulled these two events from my from my email. And if I go to my email calendar and I refresh, it will take some time to 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 upload data there but now you know, like if we do if we add an event say I want to do I want to add phone consultation with with Google and if I save this this will automatically go there and we refresh it it's here Add any other event. Okay. So if we update these events here or like in lockers, you know, like they will be reflected. They will be so it's a two-way calendar integration. So these events which like we are not seeing, you know, like it can take the initial sync and take some time like up to 10 to 15 minutes and let's see the folder like in the email so now if I go here and I should see a folder for lockers here so right now I'm not seeing that folder so let's refresh it so you see it created the lockers folder and it created three labels here so if I go back to my matters, so I have three matters. My first matter is John Doe, second is Rick Vaughn, and third is Brian Lara. So it created three, three, <coughs> three labels here. So if I drag and drop any email into these folders, that email will show up on that matter. So we'll drag and drop this here, and drag and drop rocks to the Brian Lara. 
so we have to wait for some time okay after stopping the video for 10 minutes you know like I came back and to check out my matters so I will click on my matter and so matter is loading and you see the email here so this email was attached from my Google and from my Gmail and let's look at the other matters as well and let's look at this one brand Lara let's look at Rick Vaughan so you see all my emails were attached that email had a thread and it had around like two three four five five emails so all five emails were attached and if I go back to my calendar now so you see all my events were updated and let's check like how if we update any events like how they will show up so if I go to my calendar and I change this dentist appointment I may call it I update it and I go back to my Google Calendar and I refresh it and you see it was updated right here <coughs> so thank you very much for joining us for this session and yeah if you have any questions you can reach about to to our support and support at locus.com thank you